Good morning, we are at Bewilderwood. We're just about to head in over here. This is the entrance as you walk down. And we are, I think, going to go on a boat first. first. We have to find bugs. You've got to find bugs, so this and is the sheet. This is the sheet, and Raph's got the map here. Raph, Raph, where are we going? Wow, it's a very big Raph, map. Wait, We're going to go up there. Raph, wait, Raph, wait, Raph, can I say some bee wild uh, bugs like to float? You'll find one near a lovely moat. Ooh, let's go. Would you like to live in the Boggle Village? Yeah. Would you? <laughs> I think it'll accommodate someone six foot one. <laughs> 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 look at that! She won't eat you unless you look like a carrot or a banana. They're quite tasty, she's a vegetarian. We are... We are at the Big Hat now. It's just here, so this is the crafting tent. We normally come at Halloween, don't we? Uh, where they make lanterns for a parade. But today we are making, we're decorating little bugs here. Tilly's got a butterfly, is it? No, it's a firefly. A firefly. And Phoebe has got a slug. Do you want to show us your slug? She's just crafting this, so they're going to stick things all over it and then they can hold them and hang them and have hang things hanging off. This is Raph's one. He's gone to go and play in the park behind us. Not sure he's a fan of sticking and gluing, is he? Keep going, girls. Oh my gosh! Swampy! <laughs> oh, is everything okay, Swampy? You seem a bit sad. Oh, well, I'm losing at Bogglebutt again! Bogglebutt? Mm -hmm. did, did he say Bogglebutt? What on earth is Bogglebutt, Swampy? Oh, well, Bogglebutt's a game where oh. you stand Good morning, it's Tuesday and we are at Pensthorpe National Park, here we are. We've just arrived, we've never been here before. Um, we've been coming to Norfolk for years and years and years and everyone always recommends this and so we thought we'd give it a try. It's got some blue sky up there but the weather is not great today. Um, so we are just walking through literally the most beautiful gardens ever, making our way through to these lakes, we think. So I will show you around now, hold on. Oh, there's literally ducks everywhere. So we've just come from around there and we're walking down here. There is a little path that takes you around through all these gorgeous flowers. It's literally beautiful. I'm just coming down here to find the others. Oh wow. Look at 
There's loads, aren't there? There's that's a what? Blue footed booby, she says. Oh wow, that's a very beautiful duck. Look at its, can you see its beak? Look at its beak, wow. I don't think I've ever seen a duck like that. Oh my gosh. Wow, how sweet are they? They're so cute. Are there four in total? Wethy, the baby ones can only eat Where's those. Where's the daddy duck, Mummy? Where it's probably cooking dinner. Oh, the daddy ducks dinner. probably doing fishing. Doing fishing, oh the right. The daddy Getting fish. duck is at work. He's at work, of course no, he's at the work. No, the daddy he's duck the gets, gets um, uh, stuff to uh, eat. Yeah. I feel quite dizzy now. <laughs> um, and then there's this strange box. And you can go in it. I'm a bit scared. I need some of my children down there to find out what is down there. <laughs> it's pretty bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? One, two, three, cheese. Cheese. That is the Monet Bridge over there. Yeah. Goose is gonna attack mummy. <laughs> it's not going to. So if you can see over there in the distance, that is a bridge called the Monet Bridge. And here is that little goose that's about to attack me. Oh. It's coming for you guys. Watch out. It's coming. So we're now inside in this kind of adventure play area. So there's a younger bit down here where Raph is and then it all goes through all the way across here. Um, so it's some of the bits are quite high up, the girls have been all the way up there and I am sitting in, so there's a little cafe downstairs and I'm sitting up here in the cafe <laughs> just having a little coffee and a sit down and you can watch them and then it goes through into this space through there as well where you can watch them as well I've sent my husband off to play I'm just going to sit and do some work up here it's very cute, a very clever way of doing it There's loads of pretty gardens like this. And then it goes all the way up here, it's so pretty. I absolutely love the flint that you get up here in Norfolk, like this, on all the buildings. And I love that metal there. So that's the children's play area that's indoors at the back there, and the outdoor bit is behind that. But the borders are so pretty. Honestly, it's lovely. Really, really nice. It is. It's like it's got it's got diamonds on it at the top here. Also down here. On his oh yeah, on his hands. Oh 
wow. I might eat it, Tills. Hello, it is Wednesday and we are in Norwich today. We are hunting down dinosaurs. They've got a dinosaur trail which is here pretty much all summer and we are searching for dinosaurs. They've also got lots of dinosaur exhibitions on so Raph of course is in his element with it all. It's got a massive dragonfly. Got lots of dragonflies coming all the way down here. Wow, how beautiful is that? The artwork is amazing. Look at Lily. the detail on the on the dragonflies. Lily. Wow. There's loads of little hidden streets all up round here. We're walking up to the cathedral now to go and see the dinosaur exhibition. Um, but it's really interesting architecture here. It's quite um, different. It's quite pretty down there it leads you to the main sort of shopping bit and we're heading up here now to the cathedral. <coughs> this is Norwich Cathedral where the exhibition is, we're just walking around. But I absolutely love this. No, it's bones. It's the fossils of the bones, isn't it? It's real. It's not made up. Yeah, but it's it's discoloured, isn't it? When they dig up the bones from the old fossils, this is what they find, and then they collect them all up. So this is the cathedral there, and then down here, it's really, really pretty. I think they call this the close uh, so there's a green behind me but oh my gosh look at this <laughs> Instagram dreams look at that house that is just beautiful wow I feel like I need a photo of that check out down here look at this just gorgeous oh, look at this how beautiful that is magical. Wow. There's loads of little houses all around the screen that look like this. Wow. It's so pretty, it's because the hollyhock is out as well. How gorgeous. Good evening, everybody. I am at my sister's place. Here is my sister here. This is Hannah. Hello. Can you tell? She looks like my sister. <laughs> I love your logo jacket. I want one. It's really good. Is it waterproof? Yes. It's very nice. Yeah. Um, so we are at Hall Farm Cottages, which is behind me. I'm going to put in the comments below her website. But this is her new glamping site here. And Hannah is going to just give us a quick tour of one of the bell tents so that you can see what it's like. Should we go over to it? Yeah. So this is the view here and the Norfolk Broads run all the way around here as the river goes round and you can hire a boat like in the next village, can you? You certainly can and we've got moorings as well. Oh yes, you where you can moor up over there. What a stunning evening, it's so lovely. Wow. Um, so inside the bell tent, here we go, we're just going to enter round this way. We'll just unzip. So you can see, so inside we have uh, a single bed, a double bed and another single and so the configuration can be changed around to whatever you would like uh, but that is set up for tonight. My husband's going to go in here with the girls. You could fit an air mattress in so you could have three children. And, yes, three um, children, yeah. Two adults. And then I'm just going to step in so you can see. Over here there is loads of utensils and cups and glasses, so that is all here for you to use. And then outside you get your own sort of picnic bench where you can sit. Should we just show you back out here? I'll just creep out. Um, out here, so you have your own picnic bench and little chairs and then there's a fire pit over there. And each of the bell tents has that too. 
so along here one two three four now the beauty of these bell tents is that you get your own toilet and shower i'm just going to show you up here one of them so you get an idea of exactly what you get she has got some space this summer because she's just literally launched this now um, so i know a lot of people are looking at the moment for um, places to go and there's everything's booked well this is available and you could book the whole space for if you had loads of you a big family together so I know a party from London came up and they hired this whole space this weekend and they had this so they've got different toilets for each one in the middle there that is a f area for fridges so there's four fridges in there one for each bell tent just show you the shower inside so you can see inside here we have the heated shower it's so cute I love the fact that you get your own one that's the toilet there so you can see and then I'm just gonna walk along here I've lost Hannah I don't know where she is I think she's hiding from my camera um, I'm just gonna walk along here so I can show you down here this is the lake so this is my favorite bit when we come up here I love to take photos around the lake um, here you can hire this whole space for weddings so I've seen wedding photos that she's had here and people have big um, teepee tents or marquees there she is she's over there she's sorting out the lights for later um, and people have yeah big big marquees for weddings and it's beautiful so I'm just going to show you up here so you can see um, the lake because it is stunning If you come up through, through here. So this is the lake where you can actually go um, fishing if you would like, or you can get married here. It's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Look how stunning this is. Got the bridge there, and then this is a little island here. It's so nice. When the sun shines down on here, it's so pretty. So you can walk all the way around the lake and you could hire out this whole area if you wanted. There's also another field just there as well. Um, behind us, so we've got the glamping bit here and then the, all the holiday cottages are actually over here. Um, and I'll just go back to the glamping so you get an idea of where everything is. Um, so you can imagine it but I will put Hannah's website below in the comments um, and you can find more information on her website with prices and things like that so there we go you can see it just there you can open it up now Wow, what's inside? Can you get can you go in? Can you creep in? Wow. What do you think? Which one are you going to have as your bed? Oh. <laughs> I think they're both exactly the same, aren't they? Wow, what do you think, girls? What do you think? Today we are in Blakeney. This is one of my favourite places and unfortunately it's freezing. It's so, so cold. Uh, we come here to do crabbing. This is the best place ever to get crab to do crabbing and the kids absolutely love it.
It is sunny. We are in Norfolk and it is beautiful. We're on Brancaster Beach. I'm just going to show you around in a minute. Um, it's beautiful. It's so nice. There's a little breeze, uh, but it's fine. Look, I'm wearing a yellow dress. We've just disappeared for a walk and left the walk down there. So the beach, the main beach is down there. Um, and it's quite busy, it's packed today. I think there's some sunshine and we're just having a walk up here. So we should be able to see along here is Holcombe and then Wells. Um, but look at the clear water, it's really lovely. Let's have a look. How nice is this? This is where the shipwreck thing is there.